Yo, what is going on guys? This is Swerfy and welcome back to another Jurassic Coast video where today we're just going to continue building our exhibits and I think we're going to do the sauropod exhibit today. Um, so yeah, exciting stuff, exciting news. As you can see, the park is starting to fill up a little bit. Obviously not as much as I'd like it to. Um, if we go, let's see how many people we got in. 1,400, so I'm sure if we get a couple of t T-Rexes in, um, we should be alright to go, like really high rated. I think that's what I'm going to do from now on, um, just make like the highest rated dinosaurs possible and um, enjoy from there. So yeah, it should be exciting stuff. Um, but, hello? How have you... Did I... What? Did I not put a fence there? Um, um, okay. No, don't attach. Just, there we go. That'll do. I thought I put a fence there. Ah, oh, right, yo. <laughs> Guess you guys are getting tranquilized yet again. There we go. I did not know that you guys could get out. Why have I done that? Why did I do that? Right. Um, as they get tranquilized, we're going to get our sauropods on the way because they take forever. We're going to have one of every sauropod in this exhibit besides the Ankylodocus. So we'll start alphabetically. Um, we'll go Brachiosaurus and we'll fully modify it out um, just so we can get more guests into the park. So we'll need like, I don't know, the best, the best rating possible. 190... One, um, 19, 207, 218. Yep, 218. Same one for 218. Um, 46, 57, 57, 60, 72, 72 so that one there. And second to last one. And whatever, I forgot what this one was. Okay, there we go. So I fully decked out Brachiosaurus, um, we'll get it on the way and we'll change a few skin colours as well, um, just so they're looking fine and dandy. So Tundra, I think we'll have quite a few and then like a, f yeah I think Apatosaurus, Brachiosaurus and Mementis, no we'll just have Apatosaurus, Brachiosaurus with like seven of them and uh, the rest not so much. Um, just did we put tons? Yeah, rainforest. Okay, yeah, we've done all of those. Um, just so because they're like the Jurassic World uh, sauropods, let's say. <coughs> right, but um, in the meanwhile, since they do take literally forever, <laughs> should have really done this before. But have you only tranquilized one of them? Let's move them back in. Dinosaur threat. What do you mean dinosaur threat? Their attack is low. Why are you attacking? Why are you attacking guests for? Oh god. The Herodotus is quite big, to be fair. Right. Let's start doing this. So I want to start off with like a unique sort of water area. So I think maybe I'll do like a watering hole here. Like so. And then bring it across like that. Yeah, I think it looks quite alright like that. I quite like the look of it. I mean, it looks like a... I'm not going to say because I don't want to get demonetized. So I'm just going to make it look less like it. But yeah, I mean, <coughs> I guess <laughs> it looks better now. Um, but yeah, so now we've got a nice little watering hole area. Um, I think I'll raise the land here as well, actually. To make it look more unique and abstract. Like so. And then a bit of colorization. Just so everything looks more unique and nice. Maybe a bigger brush. Lovely jubbly. So we have like a little ridge. A little higher area. Like so. And to sort of make more depth into the water so if I start to get rid of some 
sand dust there, so it looks like it is getting somewhat deeper. Obviously, we know it's not, but just so it's looking like it is. <coughs> perfect. All right, that is perfect to me. Um, maybe a little bit more ups. Yeah, I think we'll put higher terrain here as well. Maybe, maybe, maybe like that. <coughs> yeah, like that, and then bring this one across. Perfect. And then that way, more decoration work. Go down rock over sand. Lovely jubbly. Sorted. Nicely done. All right, I think that's all the rock we're going to do. Low health. Who's on low health? Probably one of my sauropods. Uh, not sauropods. My Herreras. They've got feeder and drink and water and all that, so it should be all right. I, I still can't believe I... Like, I'm going to look back at one of my episodes if I accidentally did that or not. So I think that's absolutely ridiculous. That I, <laughs> I can't believe I literally just left the gate open. That's so stupid. Oh look, the dinosaurs are finally going down this end. Hell yeah. Right, back to decorational work. Decorational purposes. Um, let's sort of think about sauropod exhibits. So, large body of water preferably, which is what we already have. Um, obviously you need like a forest, which I think the forest is going to be like around here. Yeah, because they can't really view unless the guests can see. Uh, we're going to put a feeder here and then we're going to put like loads of forest. So we'll get to doing that now. Um... I don't know if I want really dense forests or not. Asset has been collected. I think just like... Yeah, just just like that for now. Yeah. I think something, something like that, because I think the track, the sort of drive... No, the um, safari track is supposed to... Hmm. Hmm. I don't think this through. Okay. No, we can't get it in water. Ah, we're in a bit of a pickle here. <clears throat> so I wanted the gyrosphere to be specific for this area. And... Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Alright, we're going to have to think that through. <laughs> we'll get to it when we get to it. Um, but for now, obviously got loads of trees there. Maybe a few more... Oh, no. Maybe a few more trees just scattered across the area. Because after all, it is a sauropod exhibit. Yeah, maybe a few down here as well. Like, this can be like the really dense area. There we go. Um, I don't want it too dense, but I do at the same time. Because it is a sauropod exhibit. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so now we can start decorational work. Um, we'll do a bit of rocks first. So I think, yeah, like, like that would look alright. Kind of, yeah, actually, wow. Quite like the scenic look. Yeah, that's quite nice. Um, and then a few more rocks. Should really put in a little bit so I can see. Ah, it's alright. Um, maybe one here, or maybe one on top. Or on the on the side, yeah, on the side. There we go. Um, this one, to sort of like line it out. One there. One there. One there. This one is one of my favourites, so definitely, this is definitely going to go in. Okay, I think that's enough for rocks for now. Um, we'll do some trees. Now, obviously, the Brachiosaurus was set on these trees, so we'll put quite a few of these down right over here. Lovely. So, I quite like the look of that. Um, okay. Dinosaurs are ready. Uh, I was just thinking, because I'm trying to get this... I was thinking for this track, I'll need to sort of, like, get it across here. Then I'm going to have to delete 
this tree most likely. I'll just do it for now and see see what I can do. Um, right, let's get back to scenery work. Put a few of these tree fives all over the place, just like embedded, scattered in, you know, just casual. So we have some sort of diversity of trees. We don't want no racist trees in here, am I right? <laughs> um, again, with the gyrosphere, I'm, I'm just going to have to build a gyrosphere and delete whatever trees are around it. Okay, I think so far that's looking alright. Um, I want it more dense of like grass on the outside, so away from the water. Yeah, so something like that. Lovely. A bit of coastal. You can't go wrong with coastal, am I right? There's some coastal in here. There we go. Looking through that. There's some grass that you can see. Obviously, I did try to stay away from grass, but from this angle, it looks bad, but from this angle, it doesn't, <laughs> which is a little bit weird. Um, but at least we got some sand, and it's basically a beach, like Jurassic Coast, as it should be. Let's put some feeders down. Let's put some feeders down. Actually, let's start doing the tracks now. And then we'll put down the feeders. And actually we'll get the dinosaurs out. Because again, they take ages to get out. So we'll get all of our brackies out. And then we'll tranquilize them later. Um, but in the meantime, let's get to editing our gyrosphere track. So we want something unique for our... <sighs> First problem, a tree. <laughs> okay, um... Let's go around. Uh, how, am I, how did I say I'm going to do this? Let's delete that tree. Like so. Probably make it go up, to be fair. We are to a to the yeah, go up. Go up. Down here. Like so. Won't let me in the water. I need to get it back there. Um, this is going to be a pain to do, but I'm going to have to do it. So I don't think the track is even going to let me go through that way, to be fair, because of the two rocks we have. I hope it does. Yes. Yeah, buddy. Sorted. Okay, I thought it was obstructed for a second there. It is not. Right, so that's our first gyrosphere track, and now we can add more water here, I guess. What do you mean terrain constraints? Come on. Really? Pass really going to be like that? What if I were to delete this and then... It worked, kind of. <laughs> Alright, now let's put, put it back down. Do you know what tree I forgot to do? Or I forgot to put down? The big one. I forgot to put down tree number one, which I rarely use now, which is silly of me. I should really start using it. There we go. And Can't put one here. So. You know what? No, I'll just, I'll just leave one of them. Welcome to the park. Hell yeah, we are. I'll just leave one of them for now, because um, again, I don't want them to get caught. Cause that is a thing. Despite my reservations, we returned to Isla Nublar, and now you've reached your maximum experience for this island. Call it good fortune, but uh, I know the math. It's eventually going to catch up to us. Well, to to you. <laughs> Hell yeah! How <laughs> have we five started it already? I'm just too good at building parks, I guess. <laughs> I'm joking. That's a joke, by the way. Um, <clears throat> right, so yeah, we five-starred it already with only a few dinosaurs. Um, in the meantime, let's get this safari tour up and running. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Building constraints are oh, a bloody thing in a way. There we go. Go right. How did I want to do this? Hmm. Okay, let's just go like that, and then there 
yeah, I think cut across that way. Oh, I hate doing this. I wish they could just go in water. <coughs> Alright. Edit. Tour ride. Go in the middle. Up. Back across. And back in. And there we go. We have our tour ride. Um, just trying to add some more water back. That's better. We are pleased to welcome a Brachiosaurus to the park. Maybe if I was to put more water here. Ah oh well. Maybe it's the gyrosphere sort of going up and down, bobbling along. This is very unrealistic, I guess. But it doesn't matter. Um, right. Let's start tranquilizing them. Confirming task. And we'll move the brachies over. And we'll get, I think, a Patasaurus on the way. We'll, oh, yeah. We're gonna, are we going to get Nigerosaurus, actually? I don't think I've unlocked a DLC for this. No. Yeah, there you go. Four dinosaurs I haven't unlocked on this save through. Oh, that's a shame. I really wanted those four as well. Um, I don't know if I'll go back or not. If I don't, then I don't. No biggie. Uh, I was going to put Nigerosaurus, but I think we'll leave it out for now. But yeah. Um, so let's get a Patasaurus in the way. Because I said alphabetically. I just realised. I said alphabetically and I went Brachiosaurus first. Oh, I swear. I, I did go through primary school. I promise. <laughs> right. Where is about There it is. Ah, cheeky bugger. Rightio, rightio. Savannah, Savannah. Um, the next one, I want to say arid? Step. I was going to say step. Why didn't I say step? Um, next. I didn't modify them. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I'm so used to just putting skins. Like, I need to modify them just so we can get so many guests into our park. So we'll fully deck them out. We'll fully deck them out, get these on the way, put our Brachiosauruses in. And uh, then we should be good to go. Um, lifespan, I think, was the last one. Lifespan was the last one. Resilience was the second to last. Lifespan one. Lifespan, the last one. Resilience, second to last. And lifespan, last one. Done. Okay, now they're fully decked out. There's only two million more to sort of getting fully decked out, so that's, that's quite right. But again, I don't see the purpose of having an, a 73 attack when they don't attack. <laughs> so yeah. But yeah, I think we're going to put our brackies in. Design the enclosure a little bit more. And um, then we should be good to go uh, for next episode soon. Which again, I think it will just be putting like loads of sauropods in. But I think designing some enclosures at the same time. Um, because, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so, sauropod exhibit done. Time to place down some feeders. Oh, 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 oh. There we are. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, not going there then. What do you mean, in what? Oh, okay. Do I put one there? No, I'll just get rid of the trees. Um, yeah, I'll put one there. Definitely going to put one in here. Um, here as well, I guess. Nope. There we go. Filled it up with more trees in a minute. Yeah, so then we'll just fill them up with trees for now. And especially on this side, because... Too close to the fence. Too close to the bloody fence. No. Why has it got to be so close for? I like it when they go under trees like this. Maybe I can do it here. No? Won't let me? Oh, it will let me. Okay. Yeah, somewhat. At least it has a ride down that way. Likewise here. Maybe put a little bit of trees, make it a little bit more dense in here. Yeah, I quite like the look of that. It's a shame that they can't go in water because it does cause this little bridge. Um, 
So yeah, it's a little bit of a shame. I don't know if I want to keep the grass there or not. I'll probably decide that later on. Um, but still, it still looks quite nice. Again, another bridge. Oh, so annoying. Um, but in the meanwhile, let's move our gorgeous, gorgeous, shall I say, Brachiosaurus is over. So hell to the yay. Put that down. I wish I was doing this on PC. Like, I'll have loads of PC playthroughs, don't worry. Um, when I've literally complete all of the DLCs and campaign again, which I'm close to doing. But because of all the uni and all of these videos I need to make, it is struggling, but I'm still going to do it for you guys. No, I don't want to do that. I want to go down and move our Brachiosauruses. I think this is going to be our largest exhibit. It should be, technically. Transportation underway. We still got another two Brachiosauruses to make. En route. Um, so yeah, but let's do a little drive, drive through. Let's drive our tour truck. Hell yeah! So this is what the guests would see. I'm gonna overtake him. Shoot, okay. Going off track. Want to remember the experience of a lifetime? Then make sure you capture that perfect dinosaur selfie. Ah, a break. But yeah, you know what? Wait, seriously, missing no is still there. Ah, right, never mind. But um, yeah, so oh, I wish I could zoom out a little bit more. But yeah, so this is the exhibit technically. We oh sorry, missed the gyrosphere. I literally hit a gyrosphere. Sorry. So this is the gyrosphere tool. Go up here, and you go back down, and then you turn back up here. You turn and go back down. And you go across this beautiful sand made bridge. And you keep going, keep going, and then eventually you get back here. But yeah, I think the tours that I've done are quite nice. I quite like this exhibit. I'm good at. I, I'm not going to deny it. <laughs> I do like building exhibits, and I do think I'm quite good at it. But obviously, exhibits can be better. See, these can drive in water. So why? Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, sorry. Right, let's go. Oh, asset transported. We have a Brachiosaurus in. Hell yeah. Alright, I'm waiting for the for the lady to say something about the brachiosaurs. Brachiosaurus is one of the most well-known dinosaurs by virtue of her massive size. This makes her a popular attraction for visitors. Her calls can be heard from across the park. Hell yeah. So that's what she has to say about Brachio. Oh, okay, I'm not going to deal with that. <laughs> that's what she has to say about Brachio. What skin is this? Wetland. Oh my god, I love the wetland Brachio. There you go, wetland's my new skin, but rainforest is quite nice as well. But yeah, so finally we've got some Brachiosauruses in. I'm happy about that. Nice little sauropods. Well, not little sauropods, you know. You know what I mean. <laughs> nice sauropods to sort of like watch and enjoy. Let's check a few out from here. Can't. All right, you can see heads of brachiosaurs there, and you can see a brachiosaur over there. Running for the food. Go get that food. Um, here. Again, I think this is just for when a brachiosaur pokes his head out. 
And yeah, so then the rest of them you can just see them eating in the trees, technically. Um, but yeah, so that's it for the sort of today's episode. How long we got on the Patasaurus? I might put the Patasaurus in off screen. I don't know. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed today's vi video. Uh, if you have enjoyed today's video, make sure to smash that like button. And uh, let me know what other dinosaur exhibits or enclosure ideas you want me to do. Because obviously we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight current ones that we have built. But not yet designed. Um, or not yet fed or made. You know what I mean? But <laughs> but yeah, so last episode we actually built a park which no, no guests are going to use, let's be honest. But... It's just nice for the scenic purposes to build a nice little park. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have enjoyed today's video, make sure to smash that like button. And don't forget to come back every single day for more Jurassic World Evolution content and also dinosaur content. Um, but anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. Obviously, smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts of this video down in the comment section down below. And if you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because every subscriber does count. And I'm trying to hit 8,000 subscribers before the end of 2019 or 2020. Originally, it was 10K, but then I had a massive, massive drop in gained subs which wasn't great so i've had sources i've done but poor timing but yeah so um hopefully i do get to 8k before the end of the year it would honestly mean a lot but anyway hope you guys have enjoyed obviously smash that like button comment your thoughts and subscribe and all of that good stuff hope you guys have enjoyed it's miss swerve hope you guys had a wonderful day and peace out